I want to say a massive thank you to our presenting sponsor, BetQL, the number one app when comparing betting odds and the best way to beat your sportsbook this football season. Folks, BetQL's best bets algorithm went 13-2 and two on five-star bets. Week one between Thursday and Sunday. You can find the information in the description of this stream to take advantage of BetQL right now. Use the discount code CHATLINES to get 25% off any of their subscription offerings and find information in the description, including a special offer to get one year off of BetQL. Who do you have an eye on with the first pick? There's a couple players out there. Now, if the Detroit Lions are the first pick in the draft, everybody wants the defensive end out of Oregon, Kayvon Thibodeau. The guy is a beast. He gets after the passer, dynamic player, we could have our Chase Young. We could have our Miles Garrett. We can have our guy that can spear a quarterback like Goldberg did back in 1998. That's a possibility. What if the Detroit Lions want to go quarterback? What if you want to do a dynamic dual-threat quarterback? You got Malik Willis. You can get that guy who can run. He can pass. We still got some time to evaluate some of these players. What if you don't want to go that route and you're like, you know what? I love that safety out of Notre Dame, Mr. Kyle Hamilton. Our safeties are cheeks. Kyle Hamilton comes in. Immediately the best defender in the secondary. Playmaker. Hits you hard. Remember Quandre Diggs? He's got that powerful hit. Does kind of remind you a little bit of a Buddha Baker there out of Arizona. I think those would be the three candidates the Detroit Lions be looking at. Yes, there's an offensive lineman. You could go offensive line, but I doubt they go Evan Neal. That's the offensive line there out of Alabama. You can also, I guess, go Stingley, the cornerback. But do you guys want to get a cornerback in this year's draft? No, I don't think so. Not after Jeffrey Okuda. So I think the Detroit Lions will pick between one of those threes if we're the number one pick. Would it be better if they went winless? Tank and get a good pick. No, Dustin. No. Winless is a terrible thing. And I've been living this stench of 2008 every single time you talk to another fan base. What do they say, folks? What do they say? Your team went winless. You went 0-16. Do you want to be the very first team to make NFL history be the first team to go 0-17? I do not want that to be on me. I don't want it. Would it, would, would it be miserable? It's absolutely miserable. Would it be funny in some way? Yeah, but it would be terrible. Yes, you're going to get the best pick in the draft, but I think that the Jaguars will get two wins this year. At least get one win. Don't go winless. Good grief. That would be terrible. Terrible, terrible. I don't mind getting, I don't mind getting a better draft pick, but with that said, folks, I don't think the Detroit Lions have to tank. I think they're just going to suck that bad. I do. And that's just the bottom line. But I want to win every single game. If if we can just win some games, I'd be happy. I want to win. I want to win. Who do you guys want in this draft? Do you want Thibodeau? Put yes for Thibodeau or put Thibodeau no. Do you want a quarterback? Put QB. Do you want the safety? Kyle Hamilton is a beast. Let me know. Let's see. We got a question here. You have the best quarterback in the world. I can't tackle anybody. That's not going to matter. That's true. Our defense is cheeks. If Willis is there with the Rams pick, maybe take a chance at quarterback in the third, fourth round. I don't think Willis is going to be there with the second pick unless they they really start to fall off a cliff a little bit. I think Willis, I'm making this prediction right now that he's a top five draft pick. That, um, you know, he's going to be the number one quarterback off the board. We all know teams. You got the Giants. It's there. I think they're going to be searching for a quarterback. You got a team like the... You know, you've got Washington football team that's probably going to want to get a quarterback. And there's teams out there that's going to want one. So, yeah, no tanking, absolutely. Um, yeah, we're not going to take cornerback. I don't, I don't see that anything possible. Mike, is there something you think that we can do to limit the injuries that we're seeing as they move forward? <sighs> um, let's see. Take some steroids. Um, pray. Do human sacrifice. Uh, animal sacrifice, get a voodoo doll. I think those are the things you can do. But other than that, no, nah, man, I think it's just bad luck. I think it's just terrible luck. It just it happens. It happened to the San Francisco 49ers last year and a couple years ago when we had 21 people on IR. It happened there. 
What game do you think we pick up a win? I think the Eagles. I, I, I think that's possible there. I think that's a close one, Eric, that the Detroit Lions could get a W in the Eagles game. I think that potentially be the, the one. Or I'm hoping on Thanksgiving, the Detroit Lions against the Chicago Bears. I'm going to be at that game, folks. I'm going to that game. So if you're there, look me up. We can meet up, talk some Detroit Lions. I am hoping for that game. Those would be the ones I would kind of look at for the Detroit Lions. What's going on, Curtis B? What's up, my guy? What's up? I want a strong D. Yeah, you definitely want a strong D, no doubt. Now. I'm giving her a D, man, a strong a strong. Eagles D. are going to smash us. Possibly they definitely could smash up. I like your winning attitude. I like to win, man. I don't want to lose. Who wants to lose? Smash that like button. Let's get those thumbs up, folks. Let's get that one pride Kool-Aid flowing. Not drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm not doing that. Folks, I don't drink Kool-Aid. I'm not Jim Jones here. I'm not going to be taking that, knowing that this has been a long season. It's going to be a long one going forward. Who do you think will win the NFC East? That's the Dallas Cowboys. I think they're going to win the NFC East. They're the most talented team in that division. I got them winning fairly easily, in my opinion. Let's see. You can't do anything about injuries. Nope, you can't really do anything, man. Terrence Smith Jr. retweeted, Where is Tyrell Williams? Folks, he's injured. He's been injured. He's always injured, man. He's always injured. I was with you with five wins, but now I'm hoping for one to two. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you too, Eric. I'm hoping for one to two. That was my prediction of, of the five wins. I'm hoping just to get one or two. Just pr please get one. Please get one. I have us going 0-7, though. I'm not going to lie. I have us losing to the Vikings. I have us losing to the Cincinnati Bengals. And I feel like we're going to get pummeled in L.A. It's going to be a rough one, folks. It's going to be a rough one. Nobody wants to lose, but you can't ignore the facts. That's hashtag facts. That literally is a hashtag facts comment right there. Um, no doubt. You got to be straightforward, folks. You got to be honest. And for me to tell you that this team is going to be a winning football team and we're going to go here, we're going to go to the playoffs, we're Super Bowl contenders, would be an absolute lie. And I'm not going to do it on my channel. I think, I think that would be doing a disservice to you guys. I've kept it 100 the whole time, and I'm going to keep it 100 Continuing, that's what I do. If you want to take advantage of your sports book this season, you'll need to download BetQL, the only app you'll need to make smart bets. As I mentioned at the top of this show, folks, BetQL's best bet algorithm went 13 and freaking 2 for five star bets in week one between Thursday through Sunday. What does that mean? That means if you would have bet on those games, you'd have made some money and some good money. You can find the information in the description and comments of this video to take advantage of BetQL right now. Their best bet computer model scans over 350,000 unique bets per year to give you the best bet recommendation for every game across every major sport. And it gives you the reasoning behind why you need to make some of those bets. Their model covers everything from spreads, overs to unders, player prop bets, Everything you need to get your necessary tools and research needs. What if you want to do your own research? That's fine. It gives you their information right then and there. You can find it to make the decision you want to make. And it gives you team lineups, breaking news, injury updates, plus it saves all your picks for your best bets, and it gives you a track of your success and winning streak. Folks, once again, Go ahead, enter in the promo code chat lions at payment to get your 25% off. And you can find the information to get a full year subscription free of BetQL in the description of this video. What's your, your grade on Jared Goff? I'm going to give him a C right now. I'm going to give him a C. I'm sticking with it. I think Jared Goff, he's not had the greatest weapons around him. And with the injuries on the offensive line. With that said, he's overthrowing players. He's missing targets. He's not doing the best reads. And that is an issue, I think. And I wanted to talk about this on here because this was part of my notes to talk about. Folks, it's okay to criticize team. It's okay to criticize said player. It doesn't mean you hate the player. It doesn't mean they're trash. But criticizing is completely fine. Being critical of a specific player is perfectly fine. I, was, I can be critical of Jared Goff because... That's what we got to do. 
Jared Goff is probably his most his, the most critical person in Jared Goff. Guess what? Is probably Jared Goff. So when I was critical of him of, of the the game this past Sunday, it's okay. There's no need to get mad about it. That's what we do. It's okay to be critical of a head coach. It's okay to be critical. It's okay to praise players that were doing poorly that did well. It's okay. That's what we got to do, folks. That's what we have to do. If a player is not doing well or does or does well, it's okay to, to criticize and give them up there. I have one in fifteen. I have two and fifteen. What is your what is your win loss record for the Detroit Lions? Right now, as you look through this season to the end, spam the comment section with your prediction. Uh, like I said, I said five wins be, be before the season started. I'm thinking two right now. That's just my my thing. Goff is emotionless. That's what uh, Wesley says there. I got three and four. That's what he's got. Micro, do you think? We go for any fourth downs next game. Yeah, it just depends where it is. Look, if they if we're at the 35-yard line and it's fourth and one, go for it. But run the football. I got an idea. I got an idea when we're on fourth down, folks. And this is a hint to Anthony Lynn. This is a hint to Jim Call. Not Jim Call. We're talking about Dan Campbell. This is a hint to him. If you're going to go for on fourth down, I'm going to give you a, a good set here. Folks, folks, if you go on fourth down. Micro, I missed your question. I'll get to an Andrew. You're going to go go on fourth down. Have a running back in the backfield. You don't need to do five wide receiver set shotgun formation with no winding back back there. Because guess what, folks? Guess what? That really hurts us when you do that. Put Jamal Williams back there. Let's run the football. If you're going to do for it, let's run the football. That's my thing. Andrew, I will look it up real quick, Andrew. Let me see if I can get it. Okay, I think it's this one. What do you think about trading our first round pick and use the pick we got from the Rams to go get a safety or linebacker in the first round? Well, the Detroit Lions won't need to trade a pick to get that safety in the first round. Because when you look at Kyle Hamilton, he is the best safety in this year's draft. If the Detroit Lions would like to get him, they can select him with their first pick. We got 0-17, TA Noble Sports calling it. Elijah says 0-17, folks. If I missed your questions, let me know. 2-15 by Eric. We got 3-15 by Frog Crop. 1-17, and, and screw up the first pick. That would stink. That's the worst. 7-9 and nine wins. Eh, okay, go Lions. He sees on it. Put him in there. At least get a decoy. Gosh, 100% with you. I'm the man, yo. I'm the man, yo, is 100% correct, yo. That's facts. Let's do one final shout out to the sponsor of this stream, BetQL, the best freaking way to take advantage and beat your sports book this year. And hopefully, when you a lot of money, it's all about the money. This app will give you easy to make and it's smartest bets you possibly could have. The app is really great. I love it, man. The different models regarding spreads, overs and unders, player prop bets, it's right there in front of you and give you the best bets of the week. It's easy to use. Everyone knows I'm terrible at tech. Everyone knows I am not the tech guy. And if I can do it, anyone can do it. All you got to do is go ahead and get started in the world of sports betting. Go to Google Play or App Store to download BetQL right now. You have also check out their Bet MGM offer in the description in order to receive a free year of BetQL. Once again, Go in the description below. The link is chatsports.com. Deposit $10. Bet $10, and you're going to receive a free year of BetQL within 24 hours of your wager settle. Do you think we get a wide out in free agency, Alan? I 100% do. I think that they are going to spend big money on a free agent wide receiver. I don't know how much, but yes, absolutely. Absolutely, I do 100% agree, and there's some good ones out there. No doubt, folks. Expect them to spend money on a wide receiver. In my opinion, I don't think they go wide receiver in the first, at least the first pick. I think they're not going to do that. I don't think they probably do it with the first, second round pick, or the second first round pick. But I think they're going to take that money because there's some good ones out there to get a, a quality number one wide receiver, no doubt. I heard on Twitter, if you criticize your team, you are a fake fan. Well, Twitter's a liar. Twitter is a liar because you're allowed to criticize. Folks, you're a fan of a team. You're allowed to criticize. It's okay. 
to be mad, folks. It's okay to upset and let your feelings go. This game is a motion. It's, this game is filled with emotion. And if you're not emotional when you watch your team stink, then I, I don't know if you're, you know, what, what that means. Do you really care? I mean, come on. I want to see emotion, man. I want to see it.